See the dust on my hands? Look at this fridge. We clean this a lot. Like, a lot. We've really tried to keep the dust out of the van. There's so much dust just caking everything, and we can only do so much to keep it out. It gets so hot in here during the day, we have to open the door. Look at this right here on the countertops. These are the dustiest boots. Oh my gosh. It's my leg. Floated. Oh no. Look at that. I don't even know where your skin is anymore. <laughs> my leg, my socks. Yeah. Smoking. Smoking. <laughs> this is a video about Burning Man. But before we get started, there's something we need to explain first. Burning Man is not your typical event. In fact, it's not really an event at all. What it is is an experiment in creating a utopian society. It's art, it's raw, it's real, challenging, messy, and unexplainably beautiful. Plus, it's simply one of the most incredible places to make friends and have fun. <laughs> Easy to love life out here, isn't it? It's something that's not easy to document or capture on film, nor is it meant to be. It's something that can only be explained by being lived. Which is why, instead of doing an epic mashup of scenes from our nine days in Black Rock City, we've decided to share with you the 10 principles that govern this seemingly lawless land. The 10 principles that take on the task of protecting this temporary utopian world <laughs> from the effects of modern society. Principle number one, radical inclusion. Test, test, test. Brittany's gonna go live on the Black Rock radio station right now. Life in our world is so beautiful, and especially the world that we create together here. So thank you everyone for being a blessing, and let's just go make the most of all of it. Thank you for coming in with that message. Thank you for letting me share. Love your bird. Love. Beautiful. Thanks, Wolverine. <laughs> Whether you have a message to share on the community radio, stumble upon a sunrise dance party, or find yourself in the cockpit of a 747. This is a captain and co-pilot. <laughs> Not only are you allowed to be where you are, but at Burning Man, you're called to be whoever and wherever the present moment is asking of you, with the community right there to embrace you in the unfolding. Principle number two, gifting. Burning Man is devoted to acts of unconditional gift giving. This is glass man wrapped in some wire. From sharing s'mores cooked over the smoldering ashes of the man the morning after the burn. A little s'more goodness here. Making use of the man. <laughs> He's very functional. To snow cones, smashed pennies. Look at that from the playa. Cold beverages, bonfire vibes, and water. Here goes Brittany for her first. Hair wash, it's been over a week. How does that feel? I definitely have playa hair. It is like, like it is crunchy. Crunchy. Dry. I've brushed it every day somehow, put some coconut oil on the tips every day, and it's just like stiff. But our neighbors left early and they gave us like all their extra water. Yeah, so. which replenished the supply and now we can do what we need for our hygiene needs. Thank you, Robin and Angela. Angela, you guys are awesome. Oh, here. Water conservation efforts are in full effect. Wow, that all came out of your hair? It's all playa dust. Somehow the playa always finds a way to provide exactly what you need. Principle number three, decommodification. You saw what Diplo did, right? Arriving to Burning Man in a sponsored jet? Perfect example of what not to do. In order to preserve the spirit of gifting, members of the Burning Man community are sincerely asked to refrain from entertaining any forms of advertising or commercial sponsorships, ultimately protecting this utopian, free culture from modern exploitation. So, instead of finding ads in the porta potties, you may be lucky enough to find this. Set 
scented <laughs> and butterflies from metamorphosis sparkly flowers look at little doily and more than enough toilet paper and there's light in here at night let's close this for the next winner of this wow how cute is this so we got to tell someone to go in there right the best this is so cool the best <laughs> principle number four radical self-reliance if you saw last week's episode then you know preparing for burning man is no joke not only are you asked to bring all the food, water, and other burner supplies that you could ever need to survive and thrive during your stay on the playa, you're also asked to exercise and rely on your own inner resources. And when in doubt, you can always ask for help. I couldn't hit the hammer hard enough, so Drew's helping me out. I got some accuracy still yeah. going. It's beautiful. Just finished it. Wow, a butterfly for metamorphosis. Beautiful, babe. That was a good one. Principle number five, radical self-expression. This isn't only the freedom to express your own unique gifts, but the opportunity to offer that gift to others. And however the individual or group chooses to express that gift, they're asked to respectfully honor the boundaries and liberties of each recipient along the way. One of our very favorite gifts was given to us by the Black Rock City Choir the morning of our last day on the playa. Allowing that prayer to be held so strongly in the palm of your hand. We're going to take a breath in. Exhale, release it. Envisioning our prayers flying in the dust, in the wind, all throughout the playa. Making a swirl of love and possibility and healing. Illumination, devotion, beauty, surrender. We believe that these prayers today allow us to be the best versions of ourselves. May it be so. Hallelujah. Ashe. Aho. Amen. Nothing is lacking. Nothing is broken in this atmosphere. Everything you came for, you're going to leave here with. Come on, lift up your voices. Lift up your voices. Come on. Let the divine hear you. Principle number six, communal effort. This basically comes down to creative cooperation and collaboration. From simply making sound decisions as an individual, like not being a dark wad and lighting up your bike so someone doesn't have to deal with accidentally running you over at night, to taking it a step further and joining the dedicated group of rangers who help keep our playa safe or volunteering as a lamplighter, helping to light the way for fellow burners to the man and temple each night. Oh look, they're hanging it now. There are endless ways for burners to contribute in making the playa a more magical place for all. <laughs> Principle number seven. Civic responsibility. Just because we wear crazy costumes and have no concept of time doesn't mean that each and every event isn't made to be organized with care, awesomeness, and safety in mind. Though each and every Burning Man ticket does say that the ticket purchaser voluntarily assumes all risk, even death, that may occur. Hmm. Well, we're happy to report that no one was harmed in the eating of these delicious Belgian waffles, served up by none other than the Belgians themselves. <laughs> Principle number eight, leave no trace. <laughs> We're waking up with the farm animals. Rise and shine on the playa. The burner community respects the environment, which means packing out everything and more that was brought in. There's even a trash fence out in deep playa, the one that Drew's dancing in front of here put in place to help gather any runaway moop, matter out of place, picked up by the inevitable wind and whiteouts. 
With Moop on the rise, it's important for everyone to take part in Moop marches. Remove as much packaging as possible pre-playa. In our Moop bag. And visit Recycle Camp, where Cap'n Crush and the Recyclonauts have successfully crushed nearly a million aluminum cans, donating all funds collected to the local Gerlach schools. And here we have our last two points, which are tied for number one, along with the other eight. Participation At Burning Man, everyone is invited to work, play, and make the world real through actions that open the heart. The Burning Man community is committed to a radically participatory ethic, believing that transformative change, whether in the individual or in society, can occur only through the medium of deeply personal participation. We achieve being through doing, and the playa is a place where we are asked to live outside our comfort zones. Are you ready for it, Ben? And finally, principle number 10, immediacy. This one ran deep with us this year. Landa Ho! Burning Man gives us the time, space, and trampolines needed to overcome the barriers and screens that stand between us, the recognition of our truest inner selves, the reality of those around us, participation in society, <laughs> and contact with our natural world. No idea or piece of technology can substitute for this experience, which is why you'd find us without our cameras for the majority of our burn. Well, there you have it. We hope you enjoyed this video and at least learned something new about this mind-blowing, heart-expanding pilgrimage to the desert that takes over Black Rock City each year. Though, there is talk that Burning Man needs to take a year off. As the BRC Weekly stated in last week's publication, This is the last year as we know it. But is it really? Increasing regulations from authorities, along with some environmentally questionable happenings, i.e. burning, that take place, do give reason to believe that the playa, surrounding communities, and perhaps even the planet could benefit from a year off. What do you guys think? Love your burn, love your life, love. Yeah.